Hey guys, I'm Johnny FD, and today I'm recording a video for Nomad Summit on the topic of what is a digital nomad? You would think this is a pretty easy to answer question because if you're watching this channel on YouTube, you probably already know what it is. But actually, after being a digital nomad for the last seven years, I've realized there are so many different ways to nomad. <laughs> so let's define it uh, for all of you and let you know how I do it personally. So uh, there's two words, digital and nomad. And to break it down, uh, I think my definition is the digital part is you can work and earn money while uh, taking advantage of technology, whether it's the internet, uh, whether it's some kind of digital source like a laptop, you know, some people can do it from a tablet or a phone, but that's the digital part. The nomad part is traditionally just being able to move around to better pasture, like literally better pasture when you're a nomad with your horses uh, or, you know, your livestock to graze. As a digital nomad, we're basically moving around and working online and going to places that better serve us whether it's be better cost of living, better internet, um, better community, better events, better visas, you know, or even just better, better weather. So right now I am in Sri Lanka and I am here because the weather is good and the internet is fine, cost of living are low and everything is open. Uh, it's also the surf season here on the east coast of Sri Lanka. And as a digital nomad, as a location independent entrepreneur, someone who can travel and really go anywhere, I've chosen to move here and stay here while everything is good. But as soon as the weather turns, the, you know, it starts monsoon season, uh, visas get more difficult, cost of living gets more difficult, then I'll move to the next spot. Uh, traditionally, I've also moved for events, whether it was the Nomad Summit or events like the Nomad Cruise that I've been on a few. Whenever there's a group of nomads that are gonna be in a different city or in a different country, I'll tend to also gravitate towards there as well to hang out, network, and really just be with my friends uh, in, in different places. So for me, being a digital nomad is all about continuing to be able to earn a living digitally online uh, with my you know, various online businesses that are lo location dependent and moving from place to place really to, <laughs> to, like, to be happy and to chase you know, good weather. Uh, be around cool people and to go to events. So the next question is, how do you know when you are a digital nomad or makes, what makes you a successful digital nomad? I think that kind of like, you know, being a musician, right? Like you can call yourself a musician even if you just picked up uh, an instrument, whether it's a guitar or something, a piano. Maybe you don't actually know how to play yet. Maybe you actually have never uh, earned any money, you know, playing music but you can call yourself a musician in the beginning and I, th I think the same thing applies for digital nomads a lot of people I meet are probably more like aspiring digital nomads where you know they would like to live this lifestyle they you know have made plans they maybe even started traveling but they're not actually earning money online yet or they're not earning enough to support themselves that being said I would say that the definition of an actual digital nomad is someone who can cur currently actually support themselves, whether it's through an e-commerce store, an Amazon cor you know, store, remote work, having an online uh, job somewhere, you know, and really there's so many different jobs out there. Uh, for me, I mostly make my money through e-commerce uh, with and different types of marketing, but I've also done you know, tons of other projects. So to me, I became a digital nomad, not when I started traveling or when I started having an idea of working online while traveling, but when I actually started making enough to pay all my bills and to be able to afford to go to the next place. Uh, for me, that was actually just 600 bucks a month when I was living in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and it's gone up a little bit now, but for now, my cost of living are anywhere between 800 to $1,500 a month. So as long as I'm making that uh, or more, then I consider myself a successful digital, digital nomad. And I'm able to travel, I'm able to continue working online, and I'm continuing to uh, see the world. So I'm curious what your definition of a digital nomad is, as well as what a successful digital nomad is. Uh, leave your comment below and stay subscribed to this channel. Uh, let me know if you like this topic. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna invite some of the previous Nomad Summit speakers, as well as some uh, friends, that are successful nomads and ask them the same question. 
what is a digital nomad to you? When did you know you became one? And, you know, kind of like what you like, uh, <laughs> well, why you like being a nomad. For me, I really like chasing good weather. I like being around a good community. And honestly, I just kind of get bored being in the same place. So being able to live in an amazing place like this here in Sri Lanka is it's something that probably wouldn't be possible, you know, working, you know, the four hour work week schedule back in California or back in the US. So I'm really happy to be a digital, digital nomad, to have worked from so many different amazing places around the world. And that's why I love it. Let me know why you love it and see you in the next video. Bye guys. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, again, my name is Johnny FD. You can follow my YouTube channel by clicking the link in the description. I'll have it shared there. You can follow my adventures here in Sri Lanka. I have, I have some videos about how I got started as a digital nomad, as well as how I earn money online and what some of my businesses are. I'm a big believer in passive income, so watch that video. And uh, if you have any questions, leave a, leave a comment and I'll try and answer it there. Bye everyone.